Hello, good afternoon. How's everybody's Saturday afternoon going? Mine's going great. Uh, welcome to Chalk A Lot One. My name is Beth Hitchcock and I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And today we're going to be using the new pumpkin cutouts that um, are brand new this year. And so here they are. Well, this is how they come. Oops, this way. This way. <laughs> this is how they come. They're all white. They're double-sided. This way. And um, what I did was I put a light coat of stain on it. And then I did a little bit of craft paint. And <laughs> I actually did it without the light on. And I thought they were a lot darker than they are. But we're just going to go with this. I'm really excited to use these. Um, I'm happy to be getting into some fall uh, stuff. I did see one yellow leaf on my walk today, so fall is officially in the air. Well, not quite officially, but I'm rushing it. Then we're using these um, pumpkin cutouts to put on those uh, beautiful little um, wood pumpkins. So, if you're watching, would you please say hello, uh, like and follow my page, give me those thumbs up, and uh, blow me a kiss, I'd love that. I'm going to see, oh, we are live, that's awesome. So I'll turn this down, I won't even worry about that. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, write, on our, write on our transfer. And what are, these are called pumpkin cutouts, I think, right? Pumpkin cutout patterns. And I write, on these up here because I hang these on a um, on shower hooks on a dowel in an armoire in my bedroom. And it just makes it a lot easier when they're kind of get crammed in there, it makes it a lot easier to see. And this is the fall winter 2021. And I make that little uh, reference because then I keep my catalogs and I can go back through and you know we have wonderful ideas in the catalog. So that's why I do that. I can um, categorize them that way. I had so much fun yesterday. I was, um, I made three porch leaners. If you don't know what a porch leaner is, so these are five foot tall. They're usually between four and five foot tall. And um, I made three different ones and they, it took me all day, but I had so much, I had so much fun doing it was in my craft room all day yesterday. It was a blast. And that was a custom order for a friend of mine who's in real estate and they're selling houses um, like crazy. I'm right back on this. And then I use my transfer trimmers and trim. You can just cut along these cut lines here. Can you see that? So these are the cut lines here. You can cut the backer sheet and just cut that out. But for me, the way I store my things, it makes it's easier for me if I'm able to put everything back on the backer sheet and not have a bunch of little pieces floating around. So I take my finger and I roll it up until I find an edge that's going to roll for me. And I take my transfer trimmer, <laughs> I put my glasses back on first. And then I take these. And these are really nice. They're they're um, Teflon coated, and um, they're made. They're especially made for cutting these vinyl transfers. They're also um, magnetic for some reason on the edge. I don't know what that is significant for, but that's kind of cool. All right, and you just get it going here. This is how I do it. You definitely don't have to do it this way, but this is how I like to do it. People do different things. Um, you can even trim your transfer down a little bit if there's too much vinyl around the edge. Sometimes they do that so it just it fits on the, the sheets. But you can trim that down if it makes it easier for you to work with. <clears throat> Let's see here. Hey Courtney, 
how are you? Say hello, my friend. He's sitting in the shadows. How are you doing today? Wait, you're still on vacation. Well, this is a great way for you to spend your vacation, vacation watching Chalk Couture. Hi, Beth. Autumn crafting, my favorite time of the year. Oh, hey, Barb. Thank you, it is mine too. I'm hoping to call it to us. Come on, fall. It is my favorite time of the year too. Let's see here. Did you have a good trip, Barb? You went somewhere where, my gosh, it looked beautiful in that video you showed me. Just gorgeous there. You have to try out your new camper. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Let's see. These are kind of, um, these are kind of cut. I mean, they're, they're different shapes. So we'll do the Halloween ones probably tomorrow. Um, those are cute too. got it. My daughter came by, um, she was doing some laundry and came and picked up her laundry and she says, you're doing fall stuff already? I said, heck yeah. We're ready for it. Got all these cute new fall things to create with. Did we get everything? I think so. That's done. I don't think this one got done. Maybe it did. Yeah, it did. All right, I think we got them all. So we're using, today we'll be using um, this one, this one, and this one. So let me get a fuzzing cloth here. We need to fuzz these, these are brand new. Which one should we do first? This is so exciting. We're going to do this little guy first. And I'm using kind of neutral colors today. So I'll be taking these to um, my vendor event August 8th in Ponder Ray. If, you're, if you live in northern Idaho, way northern Idaho, then come see me. It's my very first vendor event, and I could sure use support. Okay, well, before we do that, we have to put some wax on these guys. So, I stained and painted, like I said. We're doing the other one first, but we'll wax them all at the same time. And now I wanna put some wax on them. I'm gonna use the dark stained wax just to add a little bit more color. I'm gonna look over here. Um, because like I said, I painted these without the light on. I thought I had enough light, natural light, coming in through the window, um, but obviously not, because I thought they were a lot darker than they were. But this is gonna add a little, little more color to it, too. Stain on all our this um, dark wax on all of these right now. Had a great time. I'm glad to hear that. It looked like you were having you and Rick were having a good time.
Has anyone tried doing these cutouts yet? This is my first time. This is my first time trying them. Hi, Bill. Yeah, it is fun. You should come in here and do it with me. Silly guy. I promise not to step on your hurt toe. you guys to know that there is a, something new that I've just recently learned about waxing and that is to heat up your surface with your blow dryer after you've waxed it. Don't do it on your transfer though because you don't want heat on your transfer. Do it away from the transfer. Sorry it's loud but I want the high, I want the high heat of the blow dryer. helps it to get into the wood a little bit even a little deeper so and then I buff it off and it feels nice it feels so nice after you do that smooth and it gives a little bit of shine to it so my transfers are going to be well protected so I did sand these also um, with a hand sand with a um, hand sand sander out front and then I stained them then I put some paint on them you don't have to do all that you can just use the white side or you can just put a little chalk paint on them if you want them a different color but for me the prep is part of the fun so that's why I did that okay so we're gonna we're gonna start with our little guy here and he's fuzz pretty good I'm gonna make sure that's not hot still and this just lines right up. They're made for these cutouts. There we go. That looks pretty good. Maybe I can come down a little bit lower. a little bit. That looks good. Then I'm going to press it down wherever there's the green teal vinyl that you see. That's where the adhesive is on the back that holds it. That silk screen in place. And I don't want any air under there because I don't want it to form a puddle of paste underneath there. So I'm just going to push it down really good. And we're going to use a combination. Like I said, I'm using neutral colors. This is Dune. A little bit of Camel. And a little bit of Storm. Um, maybe maybe just a tiny bit of camel, a little bit of storm, and then um, I want some of this grayish in there. That needs to get stirred up. And I might put in some flecks of gold in it too, just because I'm going to, um, boy, this does not, this smells very ammonia. Ooh, that's strong. Really strong, that's unusual. Okay, I'm gonna get a stir stick and going to just, we're gonna do um, uh, just a hot mess with this where we put little dollops of this. Mix 
mix it all together. It's going to look so pretty. Then I think we'll come back and put the gold in um, to accent it. So I'm just going to find a, can you see? I think my pumpkins are in the way. Hold down here and we're just going to get this moving here. Something dries in there. Let me wipe that off. don't know. I haven't tried this before, but we're going to... This is Gold Shimmer. I'm just going to see if I can get some of this in here. Here and there. I don't even know if it'll show up. It might. It might a little bit. I should scrape some of that down a little bit. Looks really pretty on the outside. Let's take, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Let me pull this up. So you can see. It looks really pretty. It came out really nice. All nice neutral colors. The gold shows up just a little bit, which I'm okay with, because I'm going to put gold around the edge of it. So that's the first one. I love that. That came out really nice. I'm going to wash this in my pan of water over here. I'm just going to hang these on the edge of my table to drip, and then I'll be putting them away in a little bit. Okay. But I really like how that came out. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the same colors. Let's go. Let's do this one. It's so cute. It has little sayings on it, <clears throat> little sentiments. All oh, autumn. It says, autumn picking, scented candle, autumn cozy, crunchy leaves, chilly air, pumpkin pie, fall, maize, sweater weather, cozy, chilly air, happy hearts, and chocolate. Let me check on comments really quick. I sent this to my friend as I figured it better have her watch you rather than trying to... Oh, thanks, Barb. I appreciate that. Is she watching? What's her name? I will watch for her and welcome her in. Was that the friend that you went and visited? In Was that in Michigan? Were you still in Michigan? Feels pretty good. Now let's see if we can line, get all of our little words on this pumpkin here. Just about everything. 
looks pretty good. Okay. Push it down, rub it out. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Love all these neutral colors. Okay, so we're going to do this first and then we'll do the same thing <clears throat> that we did with the um, gold on the other pumpkin. And I just spread out the paste, and then we'll go through and skim off the extra. Now, if you're really concerned about wasting paste, you might not want to do the hot mess because you do end up wasting a little bit of it. Now, you could scrape it off in, into a small um, little jar and save it if you like, but you need to use it up pretty quickly. So now I'm just going to go through and, and skim this down. I have to get rid of my excess. Okay. Do the peel and reveal. So cute. This one maybe could have used, oh, I didn't put the gold on it. Oh well. I like it, it's really subtle. Can you see that? There you go. It's really pretty. It's gonna make a nice set. We have that and this. So far, set those over there. You wash this really quick. So I just washed the paste off the front using a board eraser. This is what the board eraser looks like. It's a little white spongy thing. And I just wash in um, regular water. If you are going to add any water to your paste, you always want to use distilled water so you don't introduce anything that could cause mold to grow there. Now I'm going to wash any of the fuzz that we put on it off the back of the adhesive side. And that rejuvenates our transfer for next time. That's going to get hung over here to dry. Don't let them, you, you should dry your transfers uh, adhesive side up or sticky side up. Um, I only let them just drip dry there. I don't let them dry long because they will um, stick right to that table. I had that happen, I know. From experience, I can tell you it happened. And it did tear my transfer a little bit. Okay, on to our cute little, I guess this is, what is this pattern called? What is that triangle pattern called? I don't know. Um, I know there must be a name for it. Diamonds. I call it diamonds. And this one doesn't have too much. This one, you can see, it's mostly screen. It has very little adhesive, so we don't... We maybe can fuzz the edges again one time. So I kind of want that stickiness on the inside where the diamonds are. Okay, where's our other, here it is. Gonna be so pretty.
So I got into Chalk Couture. Um, it'll be at the end of September. It'll have been one year. And um, yes, in Michigan, her name is, well, I have to, can't read that far away, Barbara. I gotta come over here. Her name is Mickey, but I don't know if she's on now as we are home. She can watch the replay if not. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, so I got involved in Chalk Couture last September. It was, um, I had, was it last year or the year before? I'd been looking for, I had retired, semi-retired from um, hospice full-time. That was getting to be too much for me. It was um, it was really dragging me down. And so um, I started doing Chalk Couture and I just love it. It is so relaxing, it is so fun. It, it really stimulates your creativity and your thinking. Um, like yesterday when I was making those porch leaners, you know, I had a, a general idea of what she was looking for, but it was really up to my own creativity to come up with those designs. And I, I think I did really good. I, if I do say so, but they came out so great. Okay, so here we go, same, same deal. Bigger surface, so a little more paste. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. It depends on if you want it, if you want more brown, more gray. It's up to you. And we will try and put some of that um, gold shimmer in this one. That's probably enough. As a matter of fact, let's try this. When you do mix the shimmer in with your other paste, it does cut out some of the shimmer, just so you know. So maybe we'll try and do the flat or matte paste first, and then we'll come back and try and fill in with that gold where I have it placed. I'm just kind of going around the shimmer right now. Make sure I have all my silk screen covered. And then I'm going to take my gold and really pull it through here where I have a little bit of open space left. There, right up there, shimmery on the top there. Just a hint. I lightly skim that off. Okay. I'm going to skim that a little bit more here. There we go. And let's see how we did on this one. Oh, it looks pretty. You can, I like it. It looks kind of, you can see where the, I left the paste a little bit thicker, but I think it has nice texture. I'm going to leave it like that. I think it looks really pretty. It looks nice. Um, 
<clears throat> and the um, you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's right, you already see the paste is raised up where the lines are. It looks really cool up close. Looks nice. I like it. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna wash this. And that was fun. But we're not quite done yet. <clears throat> the back of it. The paste takes, this is, um, <clears throat> the old formula takes only a few minutes to dry, but I've got a mixture of the new paste formula and the old paste formula. The old paste formula can take up to five to seven minutes to dry. Looks good. Um, but you can kind of move it along a little bit using the quick dry tool. Let me wash these off. I put them in my water and throw my gunky paper towel away. I'm going to close the paste up because we're done with that. Telling you, this storm is super stinky. It smells like a permanent. I don't know what's up with that. Don't need this. rag's a little bit too big for that can. Okay, let's try these. Let me see, we did this one last. Put some jute, a little bit of jute, maybe a little jute bow around this. I love the way this came out. And if you didn't, if you don't like those splotches there, then you, do, you would just do more of a smoothing out with the hot mess technique. But I'm kind of liking that. I love this little pattern. I think it's adorable. Okay, then I'm going to um, use this gemstone mousse. <clears throat> I'm going to paint the, the edge of the pumpkin gold. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me find a paintbrush here. That might be too stiff. This might work. I'm waiting for my tool set to come in. I don't know. This looks pretty. Let me stir that up. Looks pretty chunky to me. It's really really, really gold. Might be too gold. Hmm. Right, let me see here. I'm going to try it. What the heck? Let's 
So this is made by Dixie Bell. It's a, a mousse, it's a mousse paint. And it's it's um pure um shimmer. Pure you'll see in a minute here. Probably should have done this first before I did my chalking. Maybe I'll do it this way. I'm getting on the edge. Nope, I'm doing good. It really does spread pretty good too. little knobby there. Can you see that though? Isn't that pretty? It's going to be so pretty on this. I don't want to touch it though. I've used this several times on different projects. It's really fun because, um, what's the, it's way, it, oh, metallic. It's way more metallic than our shimmer. Um, if you're looking for that, I mean, I, you could use the, the shimmer gold and get some sparkle on it, but this is more metallic. have to be really careful that I'm not getting it on my design. Oh, this is this would look so pretty on a living room table. Even with some like dried flowers uh, in a dried flower wreath. Well, I guess I can't do the bottom because maybe if I lay it down. Well, I don't think I'll do the bottom because it needs to dry. I'm getting it kind of on the back. But can you see? How pretty that looks. It's a perfect color for this, really. It came out really nice. Hey, Nancy Butts, my girlfriend. Love you. So that was that one. And I'll have to wait till that dries and then I'll paint the bottom. But let's go on to these guys. And this is even just using the cheapest brush. <laughs> All my brushes are so cheap. Um, so it, it <clears throat> spreads really nicely. It's nice and really like mousse. That's why I guess that's why it's called mousse. That's what it spreads like. Then there's two other colors. There's a diamond dust, which is like a silver metallic, and then there's a garnet, like red, which will be really pretty for Christmas, that red and this gold together. And you can even um, 
You could even, if you wanted something super metallic, you could even use this on our transfers. Uh, you just want to make sure you wash them right away when you're done. Oops, that's a lot. And get down here as low as I can. Fancy. That's what that is. Fancy. All right, and then this little guy. It's going to be adorable. Gotta go make dinner when I'm done here. What are you guys having for dinner? Maybe I'll come to your house <laughs> if I don't have to cook. <laughs> Put in the comments of the name of the paint mousse you're using, please. I had to step away. I'll message you, Barb, okay? I will message you. I guess I can just lay this down flat. You don't really need to do the bottom because no one sees it, but I guess just, you know, to me it makes it feel like I've finished the whole project, so. There we go. There's that little guy. Um, those came out, those came out adorable. Oh, can't lay that down. I'll just hold him like this. But, um, these came out really, really nice, I think. I don't know that, how fast it dries. It feels pretty dry already. Over here, that's not dry there. That's still wet. Okay, so here's our project for today. I'm really, I'm really happy with how it came out. You can see the gold on the edge of that and, and on the front. So, anywho. I can set that down, there we go, without touching it. I have, I've got gold all over me. So uh, that's our project for today. And um, I'll be back tomorrow, probably around the same time. So if you have questions, um, drop me a comment and I'll be happy to. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Barb, I'll get you the name of this um, moose. And I will be back tomorrow. So until we talk again, take care.